Welcome back, your friend Scotty Ray. That almost looked oh. like us, but, well, she's prettier than us, Miss Mandy. We figured we'd start your day with something that looked good. <laughs> that was Mandy. Miss <laughs> Marion. Oh, Mary. I yeah. thought it was Mandy. Mandy's my supervisor, so I I'm coming in today, taking the weight off her a little bit. <laughs> I have made a mistake, Odie. I need to get with Mandy because uh, her and her dad used to be on our dive team. Really? Mm -hmm. They just go swimming all the time. Huh? The more you know. <laughs> well, there. Yeah. Now we're learning that. Tell her we said hello. Yeah. Marion with us here, and we're sure. going to learn about uh, college for kids coming up from Meridian Community College. That's right around the corner. Don't miss out on that. What we do want to tell you out of the gate is it's going to be windy. Uh, we don't want you out there just to burn in fires with matches. Be careful. We got gusts 5 to 10 early. It will crease to 15, and then we will have gusts of about 30 by afternoon, Odie. The temperatures, what's it doing? Well, there you go mm. for the week. 69 today, that's not bad. But look at Saturday as we'll bring in Sip and Savor down at the Max that night. It's going to be perfect weather for that. Oh, we'll yeah. Also have uh, <laughs> Becky up at uh, the mall at the old Tuesday, Tuesday morning mornings. building. Yep, for the uh, spring fling extravaganza. Who would name a store Tuesday morning? <laughs> I, that has always just, you know. <laughs> and then we'll also have a car Damn. show going on. Out at uh, the Precast Group, just south of yeah. town on 145. So there is a bunch of things to do, and uh, we'll probably be at every one of those. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be out and about, and getting around. I will. Uh I'll have a haircut by then. I you oh. know, it's so hard for me to find a day. Sometimes I wish all I'd do is wear a hat, but. Amy told me, you know, she's still sick and she's been in the bed for three days. And I've been waiting on Time her. Time for a new one, Odie. And uh, I, yeah, she told me, if she don't get well, she looked at me uh, yesterday and she goes, you know, I don't feel good. And then she saw my hair and she goes, uh, and get your hair cut today. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. Mine's so a mess, she, too. <laughs> I ain't got much, but what a little bit I do have is is in an uproar. Every time I go sit down and get that thing wrapped around my neck, all that, my pager goes off. Well, see, it's hard to do. Mine just goes, and it's okay, you can go. <laughs> Angie has gotten to where she just kind of does it because I. Well, when Greg goes, they put the turtle wax on So he's there a little longer. <laughs> Now, and you take my son, Dylan Ray, who started the receding hairline like I had, and he went, he come home, and I thought, who are you? <laughs> and I'm it took like three months for me to recognize my kid. Well, mine's not receding, but if you can tell, it's retreating. <laughs> kind of the same thing there, Eddie. <laughs> that does happen in life. It, there ain't no other way to, to word it there. Uh, yeah. So many of you are up and at them. Bill Reinhardt, we do hope you're feeling better today and doing good there. You know, I want to say a good morning to Mr. and Mrs. Knight. What are they doing? Uh, I met them yesterday. Nicest couple. Uh, we talked for a little while, just as sweet as could be. Uh, bought my lunch. Oh, that was nice. Oh, man. It was really something. Had a great conversation with them, and uh, they were really glad to to talk with me and met you a few times never was able to run into me anywhere but uh i said lord works in mysterious ways he, he finally got us together and uh, but i just want to say good morning to y'all and uh, hope you have a wonderful and blessed day i was going to tell you the latest thinking in california now i like people in california i even have cousins that live out there somewhere i hadn't seen them since 76 but i know y'all are out there somewhere <laughs> you can be a great person to live in a state where your representatives well they're different and our next case of what they're proposing is after you get off work not that i'm dead serious on this <laughs> they are actually proposing this uh, we often all if you work somewhere you get a call from somebody at work and goes hey can you do this tomorrow? Could you do this? But they're going to pass a bill that would let you ignore 
your employer if they call you after hours. Wow. I mean, does the government really need to get that involved in your life to say that you don't have to answer a call from your boss? So, so here's the thing. When you go to work for someone, you follow their rules. And if their rule is, look, if I need you, I'll call you and I need you to come in and you go, okay. The government has nothing to do with it. That's between you and your boss. And you work for him at his will and pleasure. He tells you what he expects from you, and you either say, be glad to work for you, or no thank you, I don't. So the government has no business getting into anything except keeping us safe, Upholding the laws, shutting the border down, and giving us the freedom that we deserve. That's it. This normal, everyday, living your life Should is be between yours. you and God and sometimes your employer. That's I get off, right. I get off work at 5 o'clock every day. You think I'd have to ignore a phone call? Yeah, you ignore one see what happens to you there, Odie. <laughs> My phone. I work... 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. But when I took this position, I knew what my hours were going to be. I knew what my hours were. I knew how much money I was going to make. And I said, okay. There you go. Hey, let me give you some firsthand experience. Mm. If you ever have to go to your company and go, I think my boss is a psychopath and he's a liar. And they go, oh, well, thanks for reporting it. We're going to put you under someone else now. They're still going to fire you. I'm just here to tell you, you're going to get your you're gonna get fired because they'll say, well, he didn't work out under this other person that was managing me. You're going to get fired. I'm just giving you words of advice that may have happened to me during the years. Psychopath. <laughs> didn't take me long to get fired. <laughs> but it was true. <laughs> Sometimes they just crazy. Yeah, they got issues there. Can't hide it. Let's see here. Mystery in Florida this morning. And this is, this is so odd. A couple that had been married 60 years wow. as they had 10 children come home to check on mom and dad. Mom and dad had been killed. The only thing taken was their car. They don't know why. Nothing in the house was touched and the car was missing. The search is on for who did this to that family. That's awful. Wow. Married yeah. 60 years and for your life to be ended like this over someone who's obviously a lunatic, uh, that's awful. Obviously. Uh, we have, uh, do you remember the, the two mothers that I brought up yesterday morning? Uh, Oklahoma is where this was going on. They went to pick up their children and they never arrived at all. Uh, one lady was 27, the other was 39. They were carpooling together, apparently close friends, and they never went to get their children. They did find the car abandoned on the side of the road. They're now going, we think there's foul play involved in this in some shape, form. They haven't found mm. anything, but they are now directing the family this could be something bad. And as they dig into everybody's past, they're going to be seeing who was having arguments at home to see if there's... That's how it begins, and hopefully this turns out to be not so bad, but uh, we'll see. But that is happening in America across uh, the land right now. You know, one. When people say, look, I just need a break. I'm going to leave. I'm not going to tell nobody. That happens. It does. But you don't typically see that with two mothers going to get their kids from school. No, sir. No, Usually sir. a mother's going to say, I'm going to make sure my kid's at home safe with someone to watch them. And then I'm going to kind of. Here's something else that uh, went on in Texas. Mm -hmm. A uh, National Guardsman. Now, it, always remember there can be a bad apple in everything. Sent down to the uh, to the border, he was taking six thousand dollar tips to ease people across the border. Car chase, he's now in jail. That's probably going to be more charges coming with that from what he done. Shame, shame. Mm. Everybody's going to know your name, right, Odie? Hey, that's that's it. Now, I mean. still to come, an overnight car chase in Meridian that went down North Hill Street at ninety five miles an hour plus. We'll tell you about the criminals and what they did last night as you slept. And, oh, yes, someone did get robbed last night. A gun was seen. We'll tell you about that and where the location was coming up. But we're going to find out some good stuff, too, as we'll find out what can be done to make your kids' day brighter. 
what works yeah, great. Yeah, fill their summer day up. With yeah. More education. And I think you can start doing it this Saturday. We'll look at all of that next on the way with Scotty Ray and Odie. Good morning. Summertime has arrived, and Freeman Tractor on Highway 494 has the exact lawnmower for your need. If you've got a big yard with acres and acres to mow, they have a mower for that. No matter the size yard you have, Freeman Tractor has the lawnmower that fits you and your budget. From 48 inch all the way up to 60 are the X Mark lawnmower. Plenty of these to choose from. Also, they carry a complete line of LS tractors. Come by for a test drive today. Financing available. Drop in today to Freeman Tractor, Highway 494, see coleslaw or buttermilk. As the seasons change, so do your clothes, and Garrett Sports Center on 8th Street has exactly what you need. Haybo shirts, long and short sleeve, also hunk shirts, and America's favorite brand, Carhartt. Whether you need work pants or slacks for church, and nothing lasts like a pair of Carhartt overalls. Maybe it's a set of boots that you need. From box to lacrosse, they have the boot for you. And as hunting season rolls in, they have all the camouflage you need and toboggans to boot. Garrett Sports Center, 3505 8th Street Meridian. Have you been wanting your own building, your own shed? Speak to our friends at Best Sadia Building, 601-728-1954. Now, they can custom build you a home from a barn dominium. Maybe it's a shed that you're needing or a simple place to park your car, a garage, a camp house. Maybe you need a place to park your tractor, your motorcycle, or even that lawnmower. They can custom design whatever it is you need. Quality work, trustworthy, Best Sadia Buildings. Speak with Drew, 601-728-1954. It's us, Scotty Ray and Odie. We do, uh, we do like y'all. Yeah, don't we? <laughs> yeah, and we love coming back to you. We were just a little. We were running the mouth. Yeah, Odie made the coffee here, and I had just taken a sip there, and I couldn't get my hand to the butt. I'll be honest about it. Well, he we, makes good coffee. I know we, Greg has picked on you about your out of date coffee at work. It's still good. We got fresh coffee. Here. Yeah, we got. How long fresh has it been out of date? Here. A couple <laughs> years. No, <laughs> maybe a couple of months. Look, if, so that is a question. Is, if coffee is vacuum sealed in a pouch, how does it go out of date? Well, that's my question. What is the, it's really, I wouldn't eat it anymore. You know, like the cans that have the food, the stamp. Oh, I don't go by that. Milk, I, if you shake a gallon, which I'm not, I hadn't done it lately. But if you pick up your milk and just churn it every day and stick it back in there, it'll last a week or so after that date. I do the uh, oh, and, and you you tell, do you trust milk? <laughs> if it's got any kind of Here's wolf the thing. to it, if it smells funky or it's sloshing a little thicker than a regular liquid, there you go. I'm probably not going to drink uh, it. That's how you tell. The date on it is not how you tell. I don't know. I was a yeah. milk, I was a former milkman when me and Angie got married and radio hosted. Here we night. are, salesman again. I'll get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, that's the strong oh. area. And there's nothing worse. And let me warn y'all, and I think there's several people that could probably, like Mel McDaniel, testify. <laughs> going to the refrigerator and not looking and pouring a big old glass and turning that mug up. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Have you ever done I that? I can't. I can't. I've, I have definitely not to, like, drink it, but to pour it. And it just kind of takes a second. And I'm like... Yeah. No, this is it. This is, no. But that that and it's kind of like that when you sit down in a restaurant. And you go, I want some sweet tea, and you're talking. And you reach over and you turn it up, and your mind it hits it about <laughs> then of, uh oh, this uh -oh. ain't what this I want. This is. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, we've all been there at some point in time I don't or another. Care if it's brand new gallon that. I, I, Sniff I'm going to sniff it. Oh yeah. I'm going to pour me a big glass, and then I'm going to taste test it. And if it's good, we're gone. What was that? <laughs> Dr. Pepper sign. I'm a pepper. You're a pepper. I'm a sniffer. You're a sniffer. I'm just, <laughs> right. We're going to change that theme song. <laughs> As we get in for College for Kids, tell us about this. What what goes on and when can you register and get your youngins to come on out? Yeah, absolutely. So a lot of information just to kind of throw out there about College for Kids. But registration does open this Saturday, April 6th at 2 p.m. So you can find that registration link on our website, meridiancc.edu slash college, the number four kids. It's pulled up right here. So you can see we've got the little countdown going um, that says there's about two days left. There um, 
It'll be the first two weeks of June. So June 3rd through 7th and then June 10th through 14th. Um, and on this page, you can see all of the classes that we offer. Oh, There's look at brief this. descriptions of all of them. Cheer. And I think we have about six new classes this year. Wait a minute. Let's explain this. Crack the code. What's that? Crack the code. So you can click on it and see a little like brief description of it. But it's like a mystery solving kind of thing. That one has been here, I know, at least last year, maybe a few years prior as well. Um, but there's some Spa -la -la? classes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's see what this is. You get to make like body scrubs and bath bombs and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Oh, we'll send Greg to that one. But that, <laughs> that crack the code. You know, here's the thing that 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 type of education helps build uh, common sense. Mm -hmm. We need every kid in everybody in sign up America for crack the code. Sign up for crack the code because that's how you exercise the. Yeah. Well, what about this where you've got Firefighter and Junior Police Academy yeah, here? Yeah, so we actually have the Firefighter and Police Academy coming, and they will. Um, the Police Academy will be both weeks. The Firefighter Academy will only be one week this year. Okay. Um, but they get to come, and students that sign up for these classes get to learn a little bit about what it looks like to be a police. And um, they actually get to, you know, look in a cop car and maybe hop in the fire truck and sound the horns and all of that fun stuff. So very interactive. They learn all of the fun skills with it. Um, and it really is just something that can spark the interest, or maybe there's already an interest sparked in a kid, and we just get to further that a little bit through these classes at now, College for Kids. Playing with Clay, is this Clay from Structural Steel? Y'all brought him down, or is it actual Clay Clay? This is actual Clay Clay. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just yes, I was making not sure. to be confused, common misconception, but it is actual Clay where they can mold and build um, their own pots or bowls, um, different little things like that that they can actually put in the kill and fire it. And so they get this beautiful piece of pottery out of it. Now, one thing that MCC has got mm -hmm. that, that I think this, um, and, and I had to take, let me think of the word how it's put, uh, a culinary class. Y'all are yeah, really good. And y'all um, don't teach people how to do cakes, am I right? Yeah, there's a cake decorating class. We also have another class that is a bake-free cooking class. Um, and so it's just a way to like learn the skills about you know cooking utensils, um, stirring and mixing all the basic information you would need to know, know about cooking, but you get to eat everything that you make. So every single day, they're going to bring home multiple treats after they uh, get to make we, them together. We will be kind of big. <laughs> that, that is good. What would you have a question on, Odie? Well, there's a, there's a, a class on here just for you. What is it? Pickleball. Uh -oh. Pickle, yeah. what's, what's pickleball? Have you ever played pickleball? No. That's oh. miniature tennis. Yeah. It's like ping pong and tennis mashed together on a smaller tennis yeah. court, basically. It's on. A, it's outside. It's not on a table. It's outside, not on a table. It's mm -hmm. on a tennis ball court, but it's a little bit smaller. It's yeah, they like, like bad a little bit thinner and then bad. a little bit shorter, and it's really, really fun, and it really has exploded the sport has over the past year like last summer i mean everybody was playing pickleball i have friends all the time they're out on the courts playing pickleball so wow. because of that <laughs> people love the tennis class and so we're bringing in another sport this year and adding pickleball in okay yep. well, we're learning a lot <laughs> i hadn't played it yet but now you have the, to come down and y'all will be the you know final championship. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me ask this now. You're gonna Saturday. What times are y'all gonna be set up at the college to drop by? So um, everything will happen online, and so we online. will. Be, yeah, everything. The registration form. Everything is online. Um, and we are there just to navigate, you know, make sure everything's running smoothly, back end stuff. But people are more than welcome to call into us. Our number is on that website as well as our email. Um, and so we're going to be taking calls all that day if anybody's having issues, if you need to know a little bit more about a class. Um, something we did try or do try to prepare parents and grandparents that are signing their children up for College for Kids is to go ahead and look at this list ahead of time because these classes fill up really, really fast. People are eager to get signed up, and there are four opportunities, ultimately, for, pe for you to sign up for right. classes. So two classes the first week, two classes the second week. The time frames are 8.30 and then 10.30. So it's about an hour and a half class. They have about a 30-minute break in between where we play games. Um, you saw kind of like the Zoom rocket science. They build yeah. their own rocket. That 30-minute break one day, I think it's on the last day on Friday, they get to actually demonstrate and launch their rocket. So that's what the break will be used for. So there's a bunch of different things going on throughout the day, but it'll all wrap up by 12 o'clock, 1230 at the latest. 
Um, and so you still have the rest of the summer day with your kids. So, so uh, this is this is great. Yeah. yeah. And we we're, were really discussing excited. this before we went live this morning. We just how long this has been going mm-hmm. on. You think twenty ish? When I was talking little? with my supervisor yesterday, we were she was just kind of spitballing that it may be around twenty five years. But then I don't know. We may Odie. be proven wrong. Yeah, and I've got to go find that piece of paper. But uh, <laughs> I know I went. I have a piece of paper at Mama's house that. Uh, I went to college for kids back in the late seventies, uh, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna go find. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll do some digging and see what we can find yeah. on the first college for kids. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's yeah. a few. Th- Thank you for coming in Absolutely. for telling us about Thank this. Thank you for having me. This is fun. Now, again, don't do the mess up that I just said. There, don't drive up to MCC. It's all online. They it's say. all online. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Um, I, I did lead everybody astray on that, didn't I? <laughs> and the classes, just so you know, everything can be found on that website. And please, we would love. Um, for y'all to call us and if you have any questions I would like to mention that it is a committee effort this year so typically College for Kids is kind of a one director ish position right this year recruiting so myself my name is Marion Whiting and then Mandy Hurt my boss and my coworker Anna Clay we are the three that are with like over recruiting at MCC and we're taking on College for Kids so we work really well together we have the same goals and visions for College for Kids and we're just super excited for it so sign up this weekend on Saturday starting at 2 so if you go at 10 a.m. you probably will not find the link on there and that is because the form is not open yet so 2 p.m. Um, and it's $75 per class. Okay. That is pretty cool. Now, yeah. I'm not going to tell you how old Sandy White is, but we're the same age. Uh, <laughs> and she said she went to college it. kids, too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, so, I know how old she is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be quiet. I'd, I'd like to make it to my next one. We went to school together, so she can't hide. But yeah, You, her, so, and Noah, huh? Well, he was a year ahead of us. I think y'all graduated together. <laughs> it is. And this is uh, uh, meridiancc.edu backslash college for kids is how mm-hmm. you can find this website, correct? That's right. Yeah, and it didn't right. show that at the top. I was thinking, yeah, it cuts that off. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. So come out and enjoy. And thank you again for coming yes, in and telling us about it. thank y'all for having you me. Got, and I have to say, she's got a great personality about <laughs> sure her. Does. If, you, if you beam this at MCC, you're making everybody's day better. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's the goal. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it is. Sky Ray and Odie, we've got a lot of local headlines to Ooh, talk about. We'll be yeah. back next with all of that. Whoops, wrong button, Odie. Here we, here, here we go. <laughs> Summertime has arrived in Freeman Tractor on Highway 494. At the back porch, we're bringing families back together for fun, food, and all the things you love to enjoy around your home. Every event starts with a great grill, great cookware, and accessories. Add in some locally sourced meat and dairy, along with frozen vegetables and casseroles, and over 500 brands of spices and sauces. Relax in our chairs, swings, day beds, and have fun with our cornhole boards. From coolers to trailers, we have everything you need. When you see the big chair, you've made it to the back porch. Our local headlines are brought to you by the Rock House Gun and Pawn. Downtown Meridian is thriving with a fresh look, and now it's getting a new neighbor. Toyota Meridian is now open under new hometown leadership. We're bringing automotive knowledge and experience home with a focus on improved customer satisfaction and all new pricing. Toyota of Meridian is excited to serve the Queen City and exceed your expectations. I'm Trenard Rush, and I want to invite you to Toyota Meridian, where hometown pride drives excellence. Welcome back. Your friend Scotty Ray along with Odie is this day as well. She really did have a great attitude. Yeah, and, and that smile. Yeah, it makes uh, everything. Yes, it does. That's the way to start a day. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we've got some people who's wanting to start a great day. Who's that? That's uh, Annabeth Hollingshead has got a birthday today. Durwood Belt, 81 uh, years young today. Sammy and Doris Davison celebrating 60 years together. Lexi Driscoll is having a birthday today. Brian Chisholm has been here for 50 years. And Ronnie and Eileen uh, Massey, I believe I didn't even put a last name on there. Oh, Massey, well, we'll go with that. We'll go with Correct I'll us go if back we're wrong. and look, but uh, 71 years to get. When you wow. said Durwood, I was thinking of uh, uh, Bewitched, Bewitched and I thought, man, they're picking on him. But Durwood, happy birthday to you. Yeah. As we mentioned, as it went dark last night, somewhere after 1 a.m., uh, wrong place, wrong time, as there was an armed robbery in Meridian. And we don't know a lot of details, but we do know this much as we share the information this morning. 
morning. This would happen in the neighborhood of 18th Street, 20th Avenue, right here in this area here. A man with a gun is a black male wearing blue jeans, a plaid shirt, and a yellow backpack. Can't miss that. Fled with a gun and he ran toward Magnolia Courts. He took the person's cash that he had on him. No one was hurt. No one was injured. Thank goodness. Things like this do go on in every city, but it happened in our city last night. You needed to know about that. Again, that's the 18th yeah. Street, 20th Avenue areas where that went on last night. Again, at the end of the day, no one was hurt. Thank goodness. Now, let's go ahead and address this next issue here. This would begin mm. on 10th Avenue, Odie, uh, somewhere around 26th Street. And, and the police have to, whenever you pass a car that doesn't have headlights on, yeah, there's a reason. Yep, that, that's they're automatically, if you don't have a car tag, they're automatically going to pull you over. Last night, as we look at this, it would be no headlights going down the street. The blue lights would turn on. The suspects in the vehicle, Odie, would speed up. Speeds of at least 95, and it may have topped that. It would end up on North Hill Street. Once it got here to the intersection, they just kept speeding and speeding. The Meridian Police Department terminated uh, the car chase because it was just unsafe with no headlights of what they were doing. Uh, the car was never caught, and off into the darkness they went. And uh, all we can tell you it was a white SUV that was boogie there, boogie there. Now, I, seriously, how could you see the drive? I, is it enough streetlights to pull that off? Apparently it was, but it's not safe, is it? Uh, it no, it's not safe. Because you could be um, sitting to go to turn out and, and never see the car you. coming. Yeah. And, uh, and there you are caught in the middle of that. And that's, you know, they also will pull you over if you bright light the car, if you've got your high beams on and you fail to turn them off. But let me tell you, experience wise, keep your foot on the brake light a, if your brake lights are out so that you won't be pulled well, over. Well, I guess and that would the gas work. Same, yeah. Oh, not that I've done that. But those headlights, we don't have enough police because there's every single car out there. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to turn my, my headlights off. That does happen oh, a lot. Oh, that burns me up. And the new headlights, which are like, what was that song? Blinded have, yeah. by the light. It's already bad enough that you can light up the moon. They uh, they are bright these days, to say yeah. the least. We also had an accident with injuries yesterday afternoon in the 4,000 block of State Boulevard. If I'm not mistaken, a power line was also knocked down as the Meridian Police Department, Fire Department arrived on the scene. And then we had to wake up Mississippi Power and have them come out and repair all of that. Uh, but uh, accidents do happen. We had another one as you were coming toward Meridian from the Alabama side, the York exit. Let's take a look at this, Odie. Look at this overturned vehicle. And right across the state line where Odie didn't have to respond. Thank goodness. That was uh, <laughs> another one of those boo-boos there. As you'll see the product all in the middle of the road, and that does happen occasionally as well there on uh, highways and byways. We did have some gunfire reported yesterday. Now, uh, with this being said, no one was hurt, no one was injured. Not much found on it, but it would be in the 39th Avenue, 20th Street area. If you were around in there and you heard something, well, it was probably that. But, again, no one was hurt or injured, and thank goodness to that. Uh, yeah. Bill said those LED lights are what make things very bright, and it is. They are, but then you've got the ones out there that just fail to dim, and, and it's just, oh, man, I feel like getting out and busting every one of them. <laughs> it, uh, the, uh, the headlights will blind you there. Let's see what else is happening here. We had a, uh, a tree down on Bunk Newell Road yesterday. You often hear Bunk Newell. Well, yeah. Here's what it looked like. It just broke and fell right in the road. And you know what? Mm. We're probably going to have more of this today due to the fact of the wind. Yeah. More, so, uh, more winds today. You know, keep that in mind there. No matter what you're doing, that's probably coming about at some point uh, with that. Now, how do you – I shared this yesterday, and it is a new city ordinance in Meridian. Like it or not, they've approved this, and uh, and it is good there, as Brian is telling us, there's a $5 charge with this, but your pet must be microchipped within the city limits of Meridian, which means if it's microchipped, it could always be returned to you, and I'm, I'm sure that... Or find out who owns a dog, just not on a leash. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, that's mm. true. So... I'm I'm just thinking outside the box here. I think that's going to be hard to uh, enforce. Yes, that's the word I'm looking for. Well, I mean, so you go out and they get a dog and they bring it in and they test it and there's no microchip. Okay, who's going to claim that dog now? 
if it was Stubert and I went down there and you had my dog. I'm paying whatever fine it I'm is. I'm paying whatever it is to get Stubert back. I don't care. But there's some people out there that they've got a dog just to have a dog. They won't take care of them. They That's don't true. care. And if it gets away, they're going to say, well, it ain't mine. That's, there, there are people like that. I like the aspect, in a sense, if you're going to be a, a pet owner, you need to take responsibility. Uh, wow. Yeah, but that that's, like I said, it's going to be tough to enforce. I don't yeah. see people in the masses accepting that. Uh, again, it's, it's, it's a great idea. Like the $1,000 fine that you see listed on the side of the road for littering. Or how about that? It's illegal to pass things from the car window to the uh, the fellow holding the sign up at the stop sign intersection. You know, right? Uh, of giving money to yeah. to uh, I guess you could say, I, I guess the best way to word it is homeless uh, or vagrants. Uh, you want to word? It. You can say vagrants. Ninety percent of them folks is making more money than you are every year, and you're going okay. Here you go. It's true. There's a lot of truth to that. Uh, there's just, there's uh, people that park down the road in a Mercedes and change clothes, and not all, but not that all does them, happen. But yeah, but uh, it is against the law to give money to that. But they again very hard to enforce as well. We've got so many other things yeah. that need the attention before that, and you have to prioritize. It's like when you get that call, get a loaf of bread. Prioritize. And then Don't. what, so Terry brought up another one. What's that? That vagrant walking down the street, you ever see, most of them's got a dog. True. Which if you are a homeless person, if I was homeless, I'd probably find me a dog. Mm -hmm. I'd and, want somebody to sit down and talk to. Yeah, I mean, they're great companions, but do they have the money to... And they to, don't have $5 to get that done. No, and they're not a resident, probably either, or listed as a resident. It's, but... Uh, We'll see how this turns out. And, it, it, and again, it's, if your dog were lost, it could be scanned and get back to you very quickly. Uh, it, there's some pluses to this. Just hard to enforce there. Sky Ray and Odie, as we get your day underway, we'll be right back. Parish Kubota, 2401 Jimmy Rogers Parkway, Friday, April the 12th. Come see us for our grand opening. We're going to have barbecue from right here in Meridian, $500 off select tractors, free VIP Talladega race tickets, Demos on selected equipment, as well as 10% off of all rentals. Stop in and see us Friday to April the 12th for our grand opening right here on Jimmy Rogers Park. Patrick Allen Companies has a wide selection of garage doors that will fit your style, add value to your home, and add curb appeal to your neighborhood. Patrick Allen also has top-of-the-line energy-efficient replacement windows that will make your home look great while saving you money. We're family-owned and operated, and we take pride in our work. 5305 Highway 145 South in Meridian. For all your garage doors and replacement windows, call Patrick Allen Companies. Safety, service, satisfaction. J&J &J Tire Muffler, located at 3420 8th Street, invites you by. And if you need a front-end alignment, make sure to try their new state-of-the-art alignment machine. No matter the size of your truck and car, J&J &J can align it. J&J &J also has touch-free mining, laser wheel balancing, and as always, they provide preventive maintenance, including CV axles, shocks, struts, brakes, with the largest selection of new and used tires, along with exhaust systems. Locally owned and operated since 1978 in Meridian. Welcome back, your friend Scotty Ray, along with Odie, as we're doing our very best to bring a smile to your face today. We uh, and you know we just uh, opened up a can of worms. Well, we didn't. We just talked about it. What's you know, that? All this chip. Uh, you know, people. You know, would you want to be chipped? No, I would not. Uh, and, and I get that. If I chipped my dog, it'd be for the dog's protection. It wouldn't be because somebody made me. And I, but, I, uh, I know where the next comment goes from there. Mm, Mark of the Beast, as we all know. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, and a lot of you will say, well, it starts with the dog. And then you think, well, that's okay. Go ahead and chip us, too. But you get us used to things being chipped. And you just kind of fall into it. And it's, uh, you know, biggest thing on here is who's going to enforce it? We don't have enough. Uh, no, you uh, have to prioritize. And it, it just... Said, more important things to worry about besides a dog. Uh, True. So, boy, that, that's opened it up, and uh, and we're we're with you on that. We agree a hundred percent. As we go back in history, you look on this, and you ever you ever had a dream come true, Odie? You know, I have. 
uh, a lot of you uh, yeah. and, and more, some people have more dreams than others. And sometimes they do come true. I'm, I remember as a kid, my sister coming. Uh, we were at breakfast one morning. And she got up. She comes. She goes, I dreamed Uncle Jack died last night. 30 minutes later, we got a call that he had passed away. It's weird how things like that work. We go to 1865 where the dream was told. It would be Abraham Lincoln to where he got up and told his cabinet. He goes, I had a dream last night that I was walking down a hallway and I saw a coffin and I asked, who's deceased? And he said, the guy, the guard told him Abraham Lincoln. Guess what? It was him. He dreamed it and it did happen. Isn't that kind of spooky? Mm. That did happen on this day. He dreamed of his assassination. Yeah, that. uh... It was 10 days as we look at that later that it would come true. That'd make wow. the hair stand up on your arm. you dang right it will. Hubba, hubba. Mm. Uh, but that is uh, one part of history. As we go back to Mississippi, 1915, one of the greatest there was when it comes to... Mississippi is known for the blues. Uh, yeah, and blues he, and everything. Muddy Waters was born on this date back in 1915. Mm. The father of modern, modern Chicago blues is what they called it. Man, I tell you. That's some good stuff. Does the name David White mean anything to you? No. No, no. And what was his? Larry. How does the name Larry strike you? Is that common? I, it is common. He hung out with a guy no. named Durwood. Yeah, now I know him. <laughs> he was the salesman. He was very obnoxious, as we go back <laughs> to remember him, from Bewitched. Yeah. Always trying to make the sale and push Durwood into something. Yep. I did like yep. that show. I don't... And Larry really fit the part. They uh, they picked the perfect guy to play that part. <laughs> Samantha would mess with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who remembers watching Coach? I love that show. Craig T. Nelson as Coach. <laughs> well, he was born on this day back in 1944. I haven't seen him in years. Uh, yeah, I don't. I, I hadn't seen him on anything. I mean, I ain't seen him in Superstop or anything like that either. <laughs> Matter of fact, I hadn't seen a Superstop in 20 years. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Now, as we move to our next person having a birthday today, some of you will recognize the name, and there's, the majority will go, who? Well, there's a reason, a songwriter. Oh, you ever heard of some Don Williams songs? How about that song, uh, Rednecks, White Socks, and Blue Ribbon Beer? Johnny Russell had it. <laughs> as we go back for Amanda, you remember that? Yeah. He did it. Waylon Jennings recorded How about Louisiana Saturday Night? Well, you get down the fiddle and you get down the bow. Oh, Baby's got her blue jeans on. And one of my all-time favorite Don Williams songs, If Hollywood Don't Need You, well, honey, I still do. And if you see Burt Reynolds, would you shake his hand for me? Tell old Burt I've seen all his movies. Boy, as you get into the more modern thing, this song that this guy wrote was written, and nobody in Nashville would touch it. It was like hot potato. No, I ain't getting near that. Well, old boy from Noonan, Georgia, (laughs) said, I'll do it. Alan Jackson, y'all remember the song Gone Country? where it called them out of people that weren't country showing up in Nashville, cashing in on country music. Oh, you see that got us. Yeah, lost the war. As we remember, <laughs> Bob McDill, one of the greatest songwriters that ever existed, even wrote Sammy Kershaw, She Don't Know She's Beautiful. Do you remember It Must Be Love? Yeah. It Must Be Love. I Fall Like a Sparrow, I Fly Like a Dove. Good stuff there. Come early morning. It just goes on and on. That's just a few of the songs that Bob McDill wrote. I'm telling you, for some good music that's not really a concert, if you ever have an opportunity to go to a songwriter's night, right? it is great because it's guys like Bob that wrote the song. They didn't necessarily sing it. They wrote the song, and they sing the song for you and tell you where the song came from, how they wrote it, and all that. It's great to see those. Do you remember Waylon talking about, I notice you've been standing at every man at the bar? And he gets into, <laughs> I may be used, but honey, I ain't used up. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I look a little mm. rough, and I got a few miles on me. <laughs> Woo! We go back to uh, Do y'all remember the Gatlin brothers? Do y'all remember them? Larry, Steve, and Rudy. Well, Larry, of course, was the star, but he had two brothers that stood in the shadows. Back there, all the gold in California is in a a bank in California in somebody else's name. Y'all remember that? Mm. Well, his younger brother back there in the background, Steve Gatlin, has a birthday today, born in 1951. Rudy's the one with the glasses, if you're wanting to know there. (laughs) Now... Country music influenced me at an early age. I would. Uh, you got something funny? What did Timo say? What did he say? 
He dreamed he ate a big old marshmallow. So he woke up and his pillow was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Bless his heart. And I just could when I caught that, I just had to laugh. Ken Rainey Wright, he did do a lot of those great shows there. But yeah. it, it, country music did influence me as a young fella, and it, it had a lot of life's lessons if you listen to the lyrics. It doesn't do that today, but it used to. <laughs> I remember the opening words to a song, and it stuck with me all of my childhood as I grew to an adult. That line of, don't be angry with me, darling, if I fail to understand. The great Stonewall mm. Jackson... Had a big hit today. He recorded Don't Be Angry, if y'all remember that. It's a legend there. He also did I've Been Here 15 Years and Still Got Life to Go. He'd yeah, done a little crime there one. that he shouldn't have. And they yeah. stuck him in jail. Let's see what else went on today. This guy, of all the people that have played Sherlock Holmes, I think he did the best. I'm with you on that. I really do. He's a... Uh, he has charisma about him. He's gotten in trouble a few times there with uh, yep. his uh, extracurricular activities in life. <laughs> but what an actor he is. Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man, but Holmes, I mean, yeah, he was perfect in Man, Holmes. That show was just incredible. Yeah. Always figuring out the, the crime before it happened there in his head. I liked it. With the old timey gadgets. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the way it was. Let's go back to. Uh, did you all watch this? Well, unfortunately, that's one of those that Charlene made. Can you me sing watch the theme too. song? The Facts of Life. <laughs> The facts, the facts of, of life. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember about it. <laughs> and she was rather, and I'm going to try to make this politically correct. She was tough. M -m 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 manly, baby? Yeah. Yeah. That she She'll was. She'll whoop your butt. Her, her. Well, if you remember, she, uh, she drove up on a motorcycle. Yeah. She was a tough old girl. Had a leather jacket on. Nancy McKinnon is her name there. I hadn't seen her since then. Uh, Wasn't her character's name Joe or something like that? Joe. I was trying they, to think what it was. They even gave it a, a manly type name uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Skyrim, you're the one who doesn't know John I don't. John Prine. I, I, I mean, I know it now since Julia brought it up. She seems to be a big fan of whoever this guy is. Uh, he a, passed away not long ago, didn't he? Prime? Yeah, didn't he? I'm not real sure. Uh, well, I'll have to look up at that. Today, 1968, mm -hmm. we all know what happened in Memphis, Tennessee, is we lost Martin Luther King. He was assassinated on this day as it goes down in history as that day. Yeah. Let's uh, see what else. Mm -hmm. 1969, I loved this show because they had gadgets. Yeah, they had the good gadgets. It was the secret oh. train that they ran to when they had to go to the next town. Yeah. Anybody remember watching the Wild Wild West? And the movie was okay, but the original I liked still it. can't beat the original. Robert Conrad is James West. Yeah. Yes. Uh, John has Prime passed. did pass. Yep. Um. It just uh, he he didn't um, it didn't reach me, and, and there may be something that he did that I didn't know that he did, but I run into that a lot. Right. <laughs> I just not making fun of him. It just it didn't seem to attract me. It's like going to the Opry, opera doesn't seem to do a lot for me. Oh, it, it's not a dutton seem. It don't. I <laughs> suffered through one time being hung in a restaurant and somebody singing Phantom of the Opera with a mask on their face. And I thought, Lord, get rid of him. Help me. Where's Ronnie Millsap when you need him? Save the day. It's one of the, these people get up there and go, hi, 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 and then the next people. Sit there and tell you, oh, well, that's what this song is about. This, like, when you could fool didn't know what that song was about because you couldn't understand it neither. <laughs> tell me it was about something, and they, they do try to translate that. Yeah, <laughs> you're I, not fooling me. The, 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 they're actually, did somebody tell me that uh, opera is actually telling a story, talking, supposedly? Yeah. What language is it? It's not anything it's not, I know, it's not English, no. Artemis Gordon, uh, you're right, in his many disguises, yeah. Marjorie. He did have them. As we go back to the end of this, <laughs> these ladies, I remember seeing this every time it came on. Y'all remember watching Petticoat Junction? It all ended today, and Mr. Drucker would be a part of that, and he was on like four shows. Yeah. From Granny, he even visited over on Green Acres there. Now, Greg would be upset today. As I don't know if you need to call him and tell him it happened, because I don't think he knows he it. He doesn't know. He still thinks they come on. <laughs> 
1971, <laughs> Greg's favorite show in the whole wide world ended, and he ain't aware of it. No, I told him, I said, that's a rerun. He said, no, it's not. Hogan's he, Heroes come to yeah. a conclusion. Mm. That truly was a fun little show. Yeah. I and, liked it a lot. You know, yeah, you... Who was your favorite character, Schultz or who? I like Schultz. I see, what did I he say? See I see nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was caught up in the middle of everything. This in 1972 made this guy a, a bigger legend than he always than he already was. Yeah. Some five years later, we would lose him, but in 1972, Elvis would record, and they released it to radio today. Mm. The American Trilogy, one of the best of the best that he ever did there. Oh Lord, yeah. my God! Y'all know how the rest of it goes. Oh. What a voice, what a man, and he was from Mississippi. Oh, Bill says uh, there's no problem understanding what Hank Williams sings about. Exactly. <laughs> and, 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 you know, as you say that, that was the key to Hank. Yeah. It didn't matter whether you were rich, if you were poor, what color your skin was. Hank had a story for you, and it crossed every line, and you understood it. And that is the key to success in this world. Now, yeah. 1973, some lines would be crossed and America would be shaken. There would be some radio stations that would ban this because they felt it was going too far. What am I talking about? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> As my hand touched forbidden places, boom, boom, boom. Who, who remembers Conway? That was people in a sweat after they listened to that song. Oh, They'd yeah. call home. They went home and said, baby. <laughs> You've, you've never been this far Tonight. before. <laughs> Woo. If you've never heard that, y'all need to. It, it really, even to this day, is edgy. Well, it is for country. Yeah, yeah. Not in the rest of them. They say words that make me blush. <laughs> we moved two years later after that guy re recorded American Trilogy. He would do something that had never been done before. It was 1974. He would fly to Hawaii, a helicopter would land him, and you'd see him coming in in a Ford Bronco. The world would see it, and they're estimated that it was over 1 billion people. And this estimate, we can't prove it, but they say 1 billion people saw it. It was the most expensive thing that had happened up until that time, putting on a show. $2.5 million was spent that night to see this young man walk out and do Aloha from Hawaii. That was in his prime. You got that right. That was before too many banana... Sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Bless his heart. That was that was really, really good there. Oh, and those outfits he had, though. He had them made. Yes, he did. Flared. And, Man. Mm. I'm going to get you a cape and you just start that, Odie. Yep. Put me some bedazzles on it. <laughs> 1974, a record was broke that was set by Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth was the man when it came to baseball, but this man would finally surpass it. 1974, Hank Aaron broke his home run record. That's a big deal. Yeah. It took that many years to break that. With a wooden bat. 1979, um, the first time I saw this guy was in... Uh, the one about the jousting would, on horses. Yeah, yeah. What, what was the name? Knight's Tale. Yeah, A Knight's Tale. It was good. It I didn't, was. I didn't care for his last movie at all. I Never will either. watch it. No. But Heath Ledger was born on this day in 79. Yep. And uh, uh, Willie Nelson sings a song about that. And please don't tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I followed for you today. <laughs> Square-toed cowboy boots. Wind Variable wrote it. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. <laughs> so y'all got to look it up. 1980. <laughs> Let's go back to there. One of the greatest Ooh. country guys that came along that told stories was here as we get into this. Mm. Anybody remember Teddy Bear and Giddy Up Go? Phantom 309. He would be Ooh. at a red light. Odie and have a heart attack and we would lose him. The great Rhett Savine wow. passed away at the age of 62. I didn't realize that's how he went. Now, no. I'm, not, I'm not saying that he was Mr. Sex Symbol or anything down there in that picture. But he <laughs> no, sure, not at all. He sure did touch a lot of lies with his stories and <laughs> told them about it. Hush, Odie, I know where you're going. I know what you're still thinking. 1980. Everybody needs a little belly rubbing music. Well, it came today, and this would also be included in the moving in the moving in the movie *Urban Cowboy*. It was belt buckles clanging, 
as they dance the night away to Mickey Gillies. Stand by me. Won't you stand? You remember that? By me. Boy, that was good. You've got it. Odie could be a a singer to a couple of girls there. But that was good. It was recorded today. Mickey Gilly, talent unknown. Boy, there was a lot of country things that happened today. Anybody remember a girl named Sylvia? Will your nobody call today? She hung up. Well, I I can hear it. Yeah. When I I ask her name. Yeah. Well, they they don't have to do it this day. They just send it a text now. They used to have to call (laughs) the actual house. And she yeah. go, who's that? Oh, nobody. Yeah. And it was a great, clever song. But she also had another big song called Drifter. That hit stores today. It went number one. It went number one. Woof. Hmm. And, she, and look at this. Now, this was in the 81. This is today. I got this off her Facebook. Well, I think there. she looks a whole lot better today than she did back She's in 81. She's matured to a beautiful woman. <laughs> yep. You go, Sylvia. Mm. I, I, this, this, did you watch this? I watched some of it. I watched one or two shows, and the car talked, and I thought, you're not the General Lee. You can't fool me. I watched some of that, yeah. It ended. It was just an ugly car. I didn't care for the car. That was really the worst that the Firebirds and Tram, Trans Ams ever looked. They were ugly to me. I thought it was pretty neat that he drove up an 18-wheeler to oh, yeah, pick to, him up on the side of the road. You know, yeah, They'd done that in the General Lee. coming in. Me and Kit's coming. But Kit would go pick him up if he got in trouble. But seriously, it, it, it just was not. I mean, if you were going to do this, why not use the bandit? Ooh, now that would that would, that would have really saved the show. Yeah. In my opinion. But uh, nothing like having an ugly car to be, oh, kind of like, what was that show, Starsky and Hutch? That was ugly. I don't care who you are. Oh, that fin on the back. That Ford Torino just didn't do it. Uh, nothing's going to stop us now as we cross. You remember the movie Mannequin? <laughs> You ain't never dated a mannequin, have you? No. You ever danced with a mannequin? I don't think I've done that. Okay. I'm sure that there's been a few parties to where a mannequin was passed around. Somebody danced with it. But it wasn't me or Odie, we'd like to point out. Mannequin, yeah. Starship. Y'all remember that went number one. I remember the movie. Now, it was, that was pretty it good. It was funny. It, uh, it worked out there. She just came to life right there in the window. <laughs> now. <laughs> Nobody could see her. No, they couldn't. 1981, this guy would start in the military... Get a band, and well, you know him as the king now. Who we talking about? I got some oceanfront property. Ooh. Can you believe that was '87? Golly, no. I'll throw the mm. Golden Gate in free. <laughs> <laughs> George Strait doesn't get any better. Hank Jr. surrendered to police mm. on this day back in 2006. Someone accused him of something. He said he didn't do it. Charges were eventually dropped, but he did surrender to police back in '86 on this as a Hostess accused him of, well, doing something he shouldn't have at the Peabody Hotel. He said he never did it. Charges were dropped. Thought we'd bring it up there, and then worse, have him surrender. That's right. That's kind of a look back of things that happened on this day in history. And that says her bad. first car was a Ford Torino. I had one too. I didn't have a Torino. It just wasn't super cool like the, the Fastback Mustang or mm. the. 69 Dodge Charger or the 77 Trans. I'd yeah. really, I'd really like to have a 77 Trans Am. That would, uh, that'd be like the the redneck dream come true, I guess. Having Bandit's car. Oh man. Used to, uh, you could pick them up for three, four thousand dollars anywhere. And they had one of them uh, on display down in Biloxi uh, at the Chevrolet dealership. If I'm not mistaken. There was one that was actually bought there because they did some stuff down on the coast. Yeah. And uh, one of their cars was there. Well, there you go. We'll be right back more on the way with Scotty Ray and Odie as we get your day day jump started. (laughs) The selection is always changing at Massey Supermart Auto Sales with low mileage cars and trucks. How about a 2022 Jeep Wrangler, Ridgeline Sport with only 40,000 miles, a GMC Denali, or a 2024 Silverado 2500? Drop in today and find the car that you're looking for. They're packed with low mileage cars and trucks. The low profit dealer, Messy Supermart. For something as vital as your eyes, you should have your lenses and contacts made with the utmost care and precision. And that's what Grayson Optical does on 24th Avenue. Since 1996, Grayson Optical's mission has been to provide Meridian and surrounding areas with quality eye care products. That's why we're locally owned and operated. And don't forget, custom-made sunglasses like Costa for your eyes only. 
When you need to see clearly, Grayson Optical. 2021 24th Avenue, Meridian. 601-693-6374. Meridian's favorite barbecue is Squealer's Barbecue. Name the barbecue capital for the state of Mississippi. Whether it's barbecue, wings, or burgers, Squealer's simply has the best for a family environment. Every Thursday night, there's live music out on the porch. Takeout orders are welcome, and whether it's your next tailgate or large catering event, your friends at Squealers are there to help. Drop in for lunch today or a night out on the town. Squealers Barbecue, the best in fine barbecue. Well, we might have a problem there. Okay, Whoops. now we got sound. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We were talking about the Chunky River. Let's back up here. If you're looking for land here from our, our great friends <laughs> <laughs> that I seem to have messed up and didn't talk about that. But a great price on some land there from Snowden and Company. See you today. Amanda can show you this. And if you, as we were talking oh, about kayaking, if you're into yeah. that, perfect. Well, because you're going with us this year. Uh, I'm driving the truck. Drop y'all off. That's oh. all I'm doing. Oh, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> But if you love the river scene, this is perfect for you. And as we go for a house, as we get into this, if you need a home here in town, and I can't say can the word. say that word again? I was going to try to say ornamental. I see you did it good. Ironwork. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's tough on me. Amanda can show you this home. There, a great oh. price. And again, near Highway 19, MCC area, if you're looking for a great home, let Amanda show you this. They have so much yeah. to choose from. You can visit them online, any of the homes and well, great land prices to take care of you there. There's Amanda. She's always walking around one of those red signs. Yeah, because she's uh, always signing that contract and getting these houses sold. Uh, whether you're selling or buying, uh, she is the one to go to. Her and her staff will take care of you 100%. She sure will. 453-3937 is the telephone number to call there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Jeff Fuller said he'd like to have the Fall Guys truck. Now, that, that oh, was a cool one. Oh, yeah. I liked my old jack up four-wheel drive. As you, mm. you, you look back, Dan Tana, that was the T-Bird. That's so-so. Some uh, and then you get into, uh, what else was out there? Magnum P.I.'s Ferrari. That was a... Yeah, yeah. Now, I well, didn't, that was Higgins. You know, yeah, he just was, let him borrow it. Yeah, here, take my $300,000 <laughs> Ferrari and run around town. Yeah. <laughs> you never add it up there. Higgins is a man. Correct. Not a woman. Correct. They tried uh, to fool you, Yeah. but we know better. We saw the original. We know what, it, what it's supposed to be. Yeah, I was trying to think of some more of those cars that that were out there. Uh, somebody brought up Hunter. That uh, I, you know, I don't even see that in reruns anymore. It was a detective show. Yeah, but he was a real man's man type guy. I watched because of his partner. She was pretty, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. I'll give you credit on that one. Od Odie noticed that right <laughs> off the bat there. Yeah, but it seems I like he drove name. like a car, like Roscoe totaled. 50 of them. Did he drive like yeah. old Dodge car? It was your old typical police car. Wayne wants a car. Like Jet Jet Clamp Clamp truck. There we go. <laughs> a lot of people say that. Yeah. The A-Team. Oh, the van? Yeah. Didn't MacGyver just walk everywhere because he was afraid he would pollute the ozone? Like, he didn't really believe in cars, <laughs> did he? I don't know. Bullet. That, that was a big Bullet. one there when it comes to Mustangs. Some more on the A-Team. That was now... Mr. T had a bad van. Yeah, no one let you yeah. take their daughter out showing up one of them. I mm -mm. Odie, mm. go home. Oh, there we go. The uh, monster's car with Grandpa in the coffin. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was there. I was, I, oh. th but, you know, you think back, there's just not a lot of cars that stood out. 
Not now. To become no. legends. Yeah. Uh, the, and the only show that the car was really the movie star was the Dukes. It was the center of attention of the, the entire show. It was bigger than the actors were. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, and then the, the second most famous car I would have to put is Smoking the Bandit, the 77 Trans Am. I'll go for that. I, I, don't, I don't see anything that touches it. Uh, now, the Shelby GT. Uh, Eleanor. Eleanor. That'd come in third, maybe. Yeah. Batmobile was out there. Oh, yep. Steve McQueen and the original car Bullet. chase that started everything. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang with a flying car. <laughs> yeah, and then, of course, the there was the Volkswagen, which was the bus, a Herbie. The Volkswagen bus. I like the Beetle. But, but the, the Herbie Volkswagen, was the talking mm, with the 53. Yeah, that's it. I can still remember that sitting at College Park when the movie was there. With Don Knotts. Out front. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So there there were a lot of cars, but well, those I think are the two most famous, if if I were guessing. Christine. Ooh, she scared me. <laughs> and we got some more of these uh, special people we need to Who are they? Talk about. Jennifer Brown's having a birthday, fifty years old today. Tanner Vaughn's having a birthday. Liz Adcock's having a birthday. And then Tiffany Gordon is selling, uh, celebrating 32 years of marriage with her husband. After 32 years, uh, it took her a little while, but she finally came up and, and mentioned her husband. So, Scott, Tiffany did name you finally. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> happy 32nd anniversary to Tiffany and Scott Gordon. All right, Scotty Ray and Odie, we're going to give away a, a coffee mug here in just a moment. Y'all don't rush off nowhere. Call Trey Long with Long Cleaning Solutions. 601-934-9427. Step into the spotless world of Long Cleaning Solutions. Feel the power of our one-of-a-kind solution perfected by Trey Long. Don't delay. Get results today. Call Trey Long at Long Cleaning Solutions. 601-934-9427. Health Now is your locally owned medical equipment store. Every person's need is a little different, and they offer a little bit of everything from hospital beds, wheelchairs, reclining back wheelchairs, breathing treatments, CPAPs, and supplies. They even have walkers, bath products, and oxygen. And the great thing about Health Now is they offer same day service. They're open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 30 p.m., and on call 24 7. Health Now Medical Equipment, where we treat our patients like family. If every time the wind blows, you get a little leery about a tree over your house, talk to my friends at Reed Tree Service. There's no reason to be worried about a tree crashing through your house. Mike Reed has years of experience dealing with trees. It can be as simple as having a limb removed or a tree that is just huge too close to your shop or house. It's not going to cost you anything to have Mike come out and give you an estimate. They're licensed and insured. Taking care of East Mississippi and West Alabama. Read Tree Service. Have tree, we'll travel. Welcome back. We need to mention some shoes that are on sale as we head over to the Lauderdale County Farm Supply. Look at here, Odie. Oh. The Gator Waiter Camp Shoes on sale now. If you're looking for some of those available, come on down. Check them all yeah. out. And as always, if you're looking for some bait, they've got all that for you there at the Farm Supply, along with anything that you're looking to work around the house. Yeah, they got the poles to go with the bait. Yes, they do. A big yeah. fishing shop there. Yeah. Gloves and a whole lot more, even a nail or two when you need it there. Seed feed and a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. Farm Supply, exit 151 off the interstate. Visit them today. They'll take care of you when it comes to all of that. So today is uh, Thursday. The weekend is right around the corner. Whew. A few things that we remind you of this coming up. Sip and Saver, Saturday night, downtown Meridian. Becky's going to be opening up at the old Tuesday morning building at the mall. Yep. A big spring fling extravaganza going on. I said that word right. You got it. And then if you quit thinking about them, you can get them out. <laughs> sometimes I can't. <laughs> and then we'll have the big car show coming your way that's going to be out uh, just south of town. I hope you'll come out to the precast group. It'll be cars everywhere Saturday morning. Get uh, get on 145, go right past Greg's Fireworks yep. and keep going down that way, and uh, you'll see it just a couple miles down the road on the left, same size as Greg's, uh, but you'll see it. A bunch of cars are going to be out there, so uh, go check all that out. We hope you'll come. Uh, it, it is fun to, to walk down there and reminisce of this and that and the other there. Yeah, let's mm. see. I was trying to seem like there was a big story that I wanted to bring up that that went on. Hang on here. Let me see if I can find what I what I wanted. That's not it. 
I'm just I'm having one of those troubles there. Uh, That'd be all right. It's a Thursday. Oh, here it is. Louisiana. The The governor has spoken. As we brought you that story last week of the girls' basketball team from LSU that oh. would, that walked off the court when the national anthem. That's right. That the, lost that game. <laughs> now, I like what this governor is saying, and they did lose it. Mm-hmm. Well-deserved loss. The governor is doubling down the state of Louisiana, and this ought to be done nationwide. You dang right. That if you walk off, you do not stand for the national anthem, you lose all of your scholarships. Yep. I'm for that 100%. If you avoid the national anthem, the American taxpayer paying for your education, you got a scholarship, it's not costing you nothing, mm. you lose it. Let's hope yep. this goes somewhere. I think you ought to fly the flag uh, above your uh, campus. Uh, if you have a problem with it, or if you don't play the national anthem, if you don't stand for it, uh, if you're a, a bystander and you're there as a fan and you don't want to, oh, well, you've got that right. But when the taxpayers foot your bill, you you can celebrate what, where your livelihood is going because of people who do celebrate the freedom that this country has to offer. And we urge uh, Governor Tate Rees to also bring something like this. Any of our senators are watching. I think this would be great for the uh, the state of Mississippi. It makes a statement. We're 100% behind the governor of Louisiana. Take yep. away scholarships if you walk away and can't stand for our national anthem. Yep. Let's That's start it. small, grow big. you got to sometimes show you mean business, and this is Put one God way of doing it. School. Absolutely there. Boy, that made me feel good. Hmm. Yes, it, it does. Had one of those Lee Greenwood moments. There you go. Yeah, USA is great. There you are. Let's give away a coffee mug. Let me find it here as Odie gets out his machine here. Hyundai of Meridian, have you got one of these yet? Uh, The only place you can get it is right here, that Hyundai of Meridian. you got to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner to get one of those. So let's see. Here we go. Who's our winner? Look at there. Tiffany and Scott Gordon. Uh is the winner of the cup. Now, Tiffany, are you going to let him drink out of it? Or is <laughs> this going to be for you? Yeah, yeah, double straws. <laughs> Tiffany and Scott Gordon celebrating 32 years of marriage, winner of the Hyundai Meridian Coffee Cup. All you got to do is go by the uh, the store there on Highway 39, big gray building. You can't miss it, and they'll take care of you. All right. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be uh, right back in how many hours? Oh, and 23 hours, uh, yeah, we have one more day. We'll, we'll be back before we start this weekend. As always, we leave you with a Bible verse, something that is touching, that gives you a little inspiration for the day. That's, and where do we go it. today, Odie? Where, where are we going? So uh, we're going to go to Ephesians 6, 14, and 15. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Woo, I can tell you there's one thing that can come into your life and change it for the good and give you everlasting peace, and that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He'll pick you from the pits of hell and bring you up to him in heaven when it comes time. There's only one way to heaven, and that's through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Ask him into your heart today. We've got shirts ordered. Don't worry about it. We'll let you know when we're going to be around. Until then, we'll be back tomorrow in about 23 hours because we love you. Have a great day. The Scotty Ray Report is brought to you by our following partners.